Hello, it is I, Vadim. AMD's Radeon RX 7800 XT and RX 7700 XT graphics cards will launch in just a few days on September 6th. In this video, I'll give you an early sneak peek at what to expect from these graphics cards in terms of gaming performance, pricing and availability on the first day. The RX 7800 XT is a 263 watt graphics card that features 16GB of memory and 60 RDNA 3 compute units. It is priced at $499 in the US and €549 Euros in the EU. The RX 7700 XT is a 245 watt 12GB GPU with 54 RDNA 3 compute units. It will be available in the US starting at $449 and in the EU at €489. Euros. Both graphics cards will be available in large quantities on day one with a lot more ready to be shipped in the following weeks. So don't worry if you can't get one right away. AMD has plenty more available in its warehouses because they've been stockpiling these chips for many months now, waiting to sell through the heavily overproduced RX 6000 series cards. Now let's talk about how well these graphics cards perform in games. First, let's check out what AMD officially claims, after that we'll dive into some leaked gaming benchmarks shared by anonymous reviewers who already have these cards. They're testing them right now and will publish their own reviews in a few days. AMD intends to take on Nvidia's $600 RTX 4070 with their $500 RX 7800 XT, offering equivalent performance at a $100 lower price. The $450 RX 7700 XT is aiming to compete with the $500 RTX 4060 Ti 16GB variant by delivering significantly better performance and a lower price. As a result of that, Nvidia has quickly implemented an unofficial price cut, with several RTX 4060 Ti 16GB cards currently available for $450. I expect to see more models gradually lowering their price point. This is the power of competition, bringing us better prices. Now on to the next part. Mars Law is Dead has gathered benchmark results from multiple reviewers to present this chart. According to it, the RX 7700 XT falls right in between the RTX 4060 Ti and RTX 4070 in terms of performance. The RX 7800 XT, on the other hand, performs slightly better than the RTX 4070, suggesting that these graphics cards will trade blows depending on the list of games tested. Overall, the RX 7700 XT and RX 7800 XT are a welcome addition to the somewhat overpriced GPU market. It seems they have the potential to drive down prices of the RTX 4060 Ti and RTX 4070 cards in the coming weeks. Additionally, both upcoming AMD graphics cards come with Starfield included, a game that is shaping up to become one of the best sellers of the year. This makes it an even better value if you decide to opt for an AMD graphics card. Despite Nvidia's cards offering superior power efficiency, it will be hard to beat the value AMD offers with this bundle. Which graphics card would you choose and why? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Check out these two videos next to learn more about the next generation of Nvidia and AMD graphics cards. Also, reward this video with a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim, until next time.